going on guys welcome back to my channel today I will be teaching you how to play Edge of a Broken Heart by Vixen <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with the intro, and it goes a little something like this. Okay, so we're in E-flat tuning. We're going to be playing it in the key that they play now. Okay, so this is like the Brit Lightning version. So here we go. We're going to start with a quick open E-flat, and then hit the second fret on the E string. Like that. It's real quick. So, and then we're going to hit the octave of that, so it would be 4 on the D string. Like and we're going to rock between these two notes, 2 on the D, 4 on the D, so... Okay, again. And then... Four twice on the G and then two on G, so that's the intro riff at speed. Okay, so now this brings us into the verse and pre chorus. So the verse is going to go like this. Okay, so the verse we're going to hit this what I'm going to call an F sharp chord even though it's just regular F. I'm going to I'm going to be saying stuff as if it's in standard tuning, but we're really in E flat. So it goes F sharp, palm mute, then A and D twice. So and then we're going to go to, for the pre chorus, we're going to go to E, then F sharp, then D. that E real quick and now we're gonna go into the chorus so like like that and we're gonna hit that E real quick you know, before we go back into the intro. But anyway, the chorus is A, and then some like A type chord where we're gonna move the root. So what you play with your pointer finger, we're gonna move the root to the fourth fret instead of it being on the fifth fret. So your pinky and your ring finger stay the same. They stay planted on the seventh fret on the A and the D. Where we're gonna take this and play the fourth fret with that finger. And then to D. Okay, so now we're going to go to the breakdown. That's the breakdown. We're going to play a C sharp and then a D, and then a C sharp, then a D, then a C sharp, then a D, then a C sharp, then a D, and then it's going to be C sharp and then C sharp again. So. Okay. 
And then here's where we go into the guitar solo, and you're just gonna play the verse over the guitar solo. So. <laughs> So then after the guitar solo it goes into the pre-chorus, so the So you run through the regular pre-chorus and then the final chorus of the song is up a whole step. So it's gonna be played like this. Like that. So instead of playing A and then that and then D, you're gonna play B and then take your finger from the seventh fret to the sixth fret, like that. So B, that, and then it's gonna be E. So yeah, that's basically the entire song. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is my first video lesson in kind of a while. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Real quick, I want to talk about what gear I'm using, okay? So I got this Harley Benton BM75. It's a Brian May replica right here. I got it all taped up in the back so like, my belt and stuff doesn't completely destroy the back. But really nice guitar. I actually highly recommend it for anybody who's a Brian May fan or just wants like a Stratocaster that's kind of got some style to it. But yeah, it... It is really, really, really nice, and especially for the price, too. This was only like $200. So I'm going through my new Orange Crush. What's it? It's an Orange Crush 20 RT. That means it's got a reverb and tuner on it. So that's awesome. It's not even that big. It's like a bedroom amp. So, and then in my practice room, I've got my, my big PV that I, that I usually record my videos with. Uh, and then I'm running through an out-of-production Kind of, a, kind of a flex here. Out of production, Brian May treble booster. So here's a box for it. It's one of them Fryer treble boosters. They're out of production now. It's the treble booster touring. It's the red one. So I've got it running through that, and the, the tone sounds really awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, and you hear the reverb at the end there. But, um, that's my, that's my gear that I'm using. That was the video. If you need um, to go back and relearn it, go back and relearn it. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is Aiden. Thank you for watching. Bye.